Yes, I think it's an interesting, it, it was an interesting balance that we had to strike because mm -hmm. I, I wasn't afraid of there being um, a, a reference. Oh, and I don't mean reference in like, I, I mean it more symbolically because the movie is, uh, it, 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 it is a product of like the movies that sort of made me um, sort of in the late 70s and the early 80s, you know, movies that sort of shaped my sort of cinematic language that I, that I enjoyed. And so I didn't want to like shy away from it and be like, oh, it doesn't exist. Also, I, I felt like it's important in the pantheon of science fiction, of course, Star Wars is like, you know, a giant reference to, for everybody, you know. Uh, and so I, I really, I wanted at least whatever, in whatever way we could, uh, just even, even symbolically, just in some ways co to comment on that relationship, you know, to have the, the imagery and the symbolism commenting on how and what the, the, the pluses and minuses of that sort of, what that sort of iconology does for everyone. And, and like in the, in the sense that like, you know, it sort of sheds a light on what, what, what are the, the limitations and or the positives of that, that iconology that we're all just 100% take for granted, you mm -hmm. know, because we do. Just Star Wars is ubiquitous. It's just like everywhere. It's like, you know, like you can't, you can't like turn a corner without running into Baby Yoda. Right. I think that to, 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 to make a real hard effort not to do that really limits your, <laughs> really limits where, where you can be creatively. So we just said, okay, we know that exists. Mm -hmm. So fine, we're gonna just design things now just that we like. And we're gonna use that, our sort of, our taste level, what we think is cool, and we're not gonna like uh, worry if sometimes those things overlap.